In today's video, I'm gonna share a solution I came up with for my outside kitchen here on my fifth wheel that, in my opinion, is missing a sink, you know, an outdoor faucet. So this is my Jayco Pinnacle 37 MDQS, and I absolutely love how they fit this outdoor kitchen into one of the storage bays on the campsite. And it's real simple, but in my opinion, it's missing a kitchen sink. It's got a simple refrigerator right here. Well, actually, it's missing two things, technically. Down below here is where the Blackstone griddle goes. Now, I bought it this way, and Jayco gave me an IOU. Because of all the supply chain issues, the Blackstone griddles have been really hard to come by. And the last I heard, I think they're stuck on a container somewhere in the ocean, but I believe early 2022 is the estimates for when they're gonna get all those and start shipping them to customers. So that will eventually be resolved. But like I said, back to the sink, it is missing a kitchen sink. You know, sometimes I'm using the outdoor kitchen and you just need a splash of water or maybe you need to rinse something off. And because this outdoor kitchen is on the smaller side, more compact, there just isn't room for an outdoor sink. However, you'll notice that Jayco did put a spray port just to the the left of the outdoor kitchen and so sure I could plug in the standard blue coiled hose and then it's got the garden hose attachment on the opposite end like so many RVs come with nowadays and sure that works but for me personally I was really looking for a hands-free solution and I actually had the same problem on another rig that I owned previously it was a smaller overlanding style rig that I used to rent out a Nobo 10.6 one of those with the rooftop tent and everything but uh, back to the sink so it had the same deal a spray port on the side but no outdoor sink and so I solved that problem by adding a real compact folding faucet to the pantry compartment and it kind of folded out into a spray basin and that worked great so here on my fifth wheel when I had the same problem I started thinking hey I wonder if I could take that same folding faucet that I installed on my Nobo 10.6 on the overlanding rig and somehow get it to connect into this spray port. It's basically just a quick, you know, disconnect fitting. And it really wasn't that hard to do. So here is the finished product. Notice how now I have a proper outdoor faucet to complete my outdoor kitchen. You can pivot and rotate it in any direction that you need to. And then it also has its own valve here to turn the water on and off. So it's super versatile. Now, like I said before, this is really simple, but let me share all the details real quick in case you wanna make one just like it. So the first thing I had to do was get the quick connect fitting that would slide into this existing spray port. And mine is the Valterra brand. I've also seen it branded under Rec Pro. And there's probably other brands out there, but it's metal and it's the most common one that I've seen on RVs pre-installed. So first I had to find that quick connect fitting and it was pretty easy to find on Amazon. It's basically just a bare quick connect with a three fourths inch garden hose thread. And then you can see on the faucet itself, it comes with its own half inch thread right here. And so then I just had to go from that half inch thread to the three quarter inch thread. And surprisingly, I was able to find an adapter just at my local home center that goes directly from the three fourths garden inch hose to the half inch hose. And then I just put, you know, some Teflon tape on there, snugged everything up real good and plugged it right in. And that was it. And here's some close up views with it unplugged just to give you an idea of what that quick connect fitting looks like. So again, this is proprietary to the Valterra or the Rec Pro system and basically just goes from that quick connect fitting to the three fourths inch to the half inch to the faucet and then you'll insert and eject it just like any other quick disconnect fitting and some more close-up shots of it in action so you'll notice just like any faucet the valve controls the flow so if you want a little bit or a lot you can control that right on the valve and then it's got a real nice aerator built into the faucet on the tip here so you got a real nice spray pattern coming out and for me this really just completes the outdoor kitchen all right, well, let's talk pros and cons, likes and dislikes. So first up, I love that I now have an outdoor faucet to complete my outdoor kitchen. And I love that it's hands-free, that I can pivot it and rotate it, you know, in any direction that I want. And aesthetically, I think it looks pretty nice personally. And then it's got that nice aerator for the flow on it. But on the downside, and this is really a limitation of the quick disconnect fitting here, the faucet does have a tendency to want to spin 360 degrees. And you know, normally a faucet is mounted to your countertop and so it's, it's fixed, it's rigid, and it only rotates on the actual head itself. Whereas here, it has a tendency to wanna to rotate on that quick disconnect fitting. And it's not really a big deal. It's still pretty firm here. You know, I can turn on and off the faucet with no issues, but when you start to adjust the angle of your head of the faucet here, that's when I think you start to fight 
and it has a tendency to want to rotate here. So just something to keep in mind, not a super big deal, but it would be nice if there was a way to keep it from rotating there. And just to point out the obvious, you do need a spray port on the side of your RV in order for this solution to work. Now it kind of seems like manufacturers are starting to put these standard on most RVs nowadays, but if you don't have a spray port, then this solution's not gonna work for you. And the other con that I can think of is that this faucet does not have its own drain. And what I mean by that is imagine if you're staying at a real fancy campsite, you know, the kind that have stamp poured concrete pads for your RV to park on. And so if you go and turn on this faucet, then you're just gonna have a pool or a puddle of water on that concrete pad and depending on how fancy the place is that may be you know kind of frowned upon there compared to if you're staying at a campsite with a gravel pad well then the water's just going to drain into the gravel no problem right so depending on where you're staying if you need a drain you might have to bring along a bucket just like i've got here today so just something extra to consider so not quite as seamless as having a real sink with a real basin but i still like it and it solves my problem now, if you're interested in adding this to your rig, I will put links in the description below to those products. But do me a favor and let me know in the comments below what you think. Will you be adding this faucet to your spray board? Why or why not? Well, I hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching.